हाय बालकों वेलकम टू नारायणा डिजिटल क्लासेस आई एम विकास कुमार मैथ्स फैकल्टी सुपर चेना नारायणा एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस मैथमेटिक्स मेंस पेपर व्हिच हैपेंड ऑन एटीनथ मार्च दिस ईयर लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन लेट अस सी हियर वी हैव वी हैव बीन गिवन फोर सर्कल्स एंड इट्स बीन आस्क्ड दैट वाज द फिगर फाउंड बाय जॉइनिंग द सेंटर्स ऑफ दीस फोर सर्कल इज व्हाट अ स्क्वायर a rectangle a rhombus or a parallelogram now the center of the first circle is 0, 0 as you can see very easily center of the second circle is 0, 1 center of the third circle is 1, 0 and center of the fourth circle is 1, 1 notice that these four points are these four points which clearly form a square hence the answer is 1 let's move on to the next question now in this question a function is given fx is equal to 1 upon mod x when mod x is greater than 1 and ax square plus b when mod x is less than 1 and we ha- that we have been given that the function is differentiable and we are asked the values of a and b for which the function is differentiable now for the function to be differentiable it must be at first continuous the definition of the function changes at x is equal to 1 hence we'll check the continuity first at x is equal to 1 lhl at x is equal to 1 is how much when x is less than 1 function is governed by this uh, equation so the value is a plus b which is equal to rhl which is equal to 1 so we have a plus b is equal to 1 now now when the function is continuous let us decide what for what values of a and b the function will be differentiable now for differentiable we will calculate rhd rhd at x is equal to 1 will be will be obtained by the this function 1 upon mod x and it will be minus 1 and lhd at x is equal to 1 will be obtained by differentiating this function for this which it is 2a into 1 as x is equal to 1 now for this we got a is equal to minus half now as a is equal to minus half corresponds to only one option we'll mark that option as correct and let's move on to the next question now in this question we have been given uh, a f- that we have to make four digit numbers and we have to find the sum of those four digit numbers and we have to make the f- those four digit numbers using these digits digits 1 2 2 twice and 3 now notice that if we fix any digit at any place then zero is not there so if i fix 1 or 3 let us say 1 here then the other numbers 2 comma 2 comma 3 can arrange in these places in three ways if i fix 1 here then also three ways 1 here then also three ways then one here then also three ways same is the matter with 3 if i fix 3 here again three ways three ways three ways three ways 1 and 3 will occur at all these places thrice whereas 2 if i fix 2 here then it will be different because then the numbers that are arranging is 1 comma 2 comma 3 and then it is 3 factorial which is six ways no problem now the uh, so the contribution of 1 in each place will be 1 into 3 and contribution of 2 in each place will be 2 into 6 contribution of 3 similarly will be 3 into 3 so we can write contribution at this place will be 1 contribution at this place will be multiplied by 10 contribution at this place will be multiplied by 100 and so on by 1000 adding all that we will get 1 1 1 1 for all those places multiplied by now contribution of 1 and 
we will multiply by 3 and contribution of 2 we will multiply by 6. This will be the sum of all those numbers. Notice that after adding this is 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24 we will get this number and we will move on to the next question. In this question, we have, we have to find number of points of intersection of these two curves and these two curves are nothing but circles. So, circles can at max intersect at two points and or they can intersect at one point if they touch each other externally or internally or point of intersections can be zero. This option is ridiculous, Ob circles cannot intersect at three points. Now, let us check. Now, center of first circle is 11 comma, now notice that here is some mistake because of some mistake it must have been minus 10 because these quotient, uh, questions have been recollected by students using just their memory. So, there are some mistakes here and there. So, now this center will be 11 comma 5 and the next center here is 5 comma 5. So, distance between the centers, let us say this center is C1, this center is C2. So, C1, C2 is equal to 6. Moreover, radius of first circle R1 is equal to 11 square plus 5 square minus 137 under root will come out to be 9 under root which is 3 and similarly radius of the second circle will come out to be 3. So, we will see here that R1 plus R2 is C1, C2, which means the circles which are actually also equal in size are touching and there is only one point of intersection. No problem. Let us move on to the next question. In this question, we have an expansion of 1 plus x plus 2x square to the power 20. Now, notice uh, a0 is the uh, constant term, a1 is the coefficient of x power 1, a2 is coefficient of x power 2 and so on. Then we have to find the value of a1 plus a3, any sum of odd coefficients except notice that a39 which was which, which came here is not there in this sum. So, what we will do? We will say see this as a1 plus a3 plus a5 dot 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 a 39 this we can calculate easily and this from this we will subtract a 39 this is what we require. For this this is equal to if I take this expression as f x to observe that this is equal to f of x f of uh, x is equal to 1 minus f of when x I put as minus 1. which means this expression is if I put x is equal to 1 this base becomes 4 to the power 20 this is 4 to the power 20 minus when you put x is equal to minus 1 this is 2 minus 1 plus 1 2 to the power 20 and minus I have a 39. Now, what I have to do is since all four options look like that only I have to find the value of a 39. So, what will be a 39? a 39 will be coefficient of x power 39, second largest coefficient. Largest coefficient obviously a 40 is 2 to the power 20 and a 39 has 2 to the power 19 and it is occurring at the binomial the coefficient due to repetition is 20. So, a 39 is 20 into 2 to the power 19. You substitute in this we will get option 2, we will mark. There might be some mistake in uh, some somewhere because due to memory, we can easily mark the option after this information. Let us move on to the next question. Now, here we have a series from this these numbers 3, 5, 2, 0, 1, we can understand these are odd numbers, consecutive odd numbers starting from 3. So, let us simplify these numbers. First is 2 into 4 next is 4 into 6, next and so on, we have 1 upon 200 into 202. 
no problem now 4 minus 2 6 minus 4 and 200 2 minus 200 all are same what we'll do is we'll multiply and divide by 2 so we'll multiply entire series by 2 and we'll also divide by 2 4 minus 2 upon 2 into 4 will be half minus 1 by 4 so this will be half into half minus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 6 so on and this term will be 1 upon 200 minus 1 upon 202 notice that 1 by 4 will cancel similarly 1 by 6 will cancel with the next term this 200 will cancel with the previous term and we will be left with this 202 and half so our answer is half of 1 upon 2 minus 1 upon 202 as we can see numerator will be 202 minus 2 which is 100 100 upon 2 into 2 into 202 which is 25 by 101 we'll mark 25 by 101 and we'll move on to the next question here we have a vector and vector has components 3p and 1 with respect to a rectangular cartesian system now we have not been given that rectangular cartesian system but we can very well assume that as x so x uh, x is y x is our normal cartesian system which means this vector becomes 3pi plus j when the system is rotated the components become p plus 1 and root 10 notice since it's a rectangular cartesian system the, the the magnitude of the vector in both the cases in this case will be represented by 3p whole square plus 1 square under root we'll take magnitude only magnitude square which is equal to p plus 1 whole square plus root 10 root 10 whole square so we have equated square of magnitude of vector in both cases in this case and in this case that should be equal this is a quadratic we'll solve the quadratic we'll get p as minus 1 and p as 5 by 4 now notice that p is equal to 5 by 4 is not visible anywhere so we'll cancel that and we'll mark p is equal to minus 1 fourth option moving on now we have this integration the value of this integration now we have cosine of something and notice that these two are same 2x minus 1 whole square plus 4 is also 4x square minus 4x plus 5 so and that which means 2x minus 1 is occurring three times it's a good idea to take 2x minus 1 as something and since 2x minus 1 whole square plus 2 square is there so it's of the form x square plus a square you can see easily here so it's a good idea to take x square plus a square as something simple to which, which means we can make use of tan square theta plus 1 is equal to secant square theta identity and start with taking 2x plus 2x minus 1 actually 2x minus 1 is equal to 2 tan theta because then 4 will come out we will take 2x minus 1 as 2 tan theta we will substitute this will be 2 tan theta this will be secant of what this will be 2 secant theta similarly this 2 secant theta dx also will become secant square theta d theta converting the complete integral into theta we will get integration of tan theta 2 tan theta and 2 secant theta 2 will cancel and secant theta and secant square theta because of dx again secant theta then cos of 2 secant theta d theta now we know if we take secant theta as something tan theta into secant theta into d theta is differentiation of that quantity so this actually is simply integration of cos of alpha cos of 2 alpha d alpha cos of 2 alpha d alpha 
whereas alpha I have taken as secant theta. What is integration of cos of 2 alpha? It is simply half of sin of 2 alpha. Alpha will put back and again in theta, theta will put back in terms of x. We can very easily see option 1 is matching the description. We will mark that, we will move on to the next question. Now here there is some mistake in uh, uh, there is no mod here. So it is simply alpha z plus alpha z bar actually plus alpha bar z. So this is a standard way of writing the equation of a circle in complex plane. But there is a, a, a real number a is multiplied to the equation. So we will take that out. When we take that out, it, this will become z z bar which is same as mod z square plus alpha by a z bar plus alpha bar by a bar is a only because a is a real number. So a alpha by a bar we can write there will be no difference into z plus d by a is equal to 0. So this they want to represent a circle. Now since they are assuming inequalities here in all the options, they are interested in whether the circle will represent anything on the argon plane or it will simply say true per, matlab, the radius of the circle will come out to be imaginary. So they want r square to be a positive number. From this we know that radius is alpha by a mod whole square minus d by a and this should be greater than or at least equal to 0. Now since all the equations represent a greater than or equal to, so we are assuming that point circle also might, they might, might be taking as circle or maybe actually in exam this was greater than we do not know because it is a memory based question paper. So is greater or greater than equal to 0 we will write which corresponds to this. This will get multiplied here alpha mod alpha square minus a d is greater than equal to 0. We will mark that option. We will move on to the next question. Okay, there seems to be a blank page in between. Now in the next question system of equations that these are the system of equations now and when you read a system of equation you may not know which is the variable u or variable or alpha variable but later after describing the system it's writing alpha beta gamma are distinct roots of this find the which means alpha beta gamma are not the variables u v w are the variables alpha beta gamma are the coefficients now since these the system of equations has non trivial solution non trivial means other than 0 0 0 if you take u v w as 0 all three equations are satisfied which means add something other than 0 0 0 is the solution which means infinite solution case or you can simply remember that corresponds to the coefficient determinant being 0 the coefficient determinant is alpha beta gamma these coefficients beta gamma alpha these coefficients and gamma alpha beta these coefficient this determinant must be 0. We are familiar with this determinant. This determinant implies that alpha plus beta plus gamma must be 0 or alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma. Now since they are saying distinct roots this possibility is ruled out which means only alpha plus beta plus gamma is 0. Alpha plus beta plus gamma corresponds to A it is minus a to so minus a is 0 which means a is this quantity must be 0. So we will mark that option and we will move on to the next question. In this question we have been given definitions of fx and gx. After defining fx and gx question setter is defining fx plus gx, fx minus gx, f upon g x g upon f and g x minus f x for some reason and then we have been asked set of values of x for which which is common to domain of all the five functions. Now notice that after defining f x and g x 
एफ एक्स प्लस जी एक्स एंड एफ एक्स माइनस जी एक्स एंड जी एक्स माइनस एफ एक्स हैव नो स्पेशल कंस्टेंट ऑन द डोमेन ओनली दीज टू फंक्शन रिक्वायर जी एक्स नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो एंड एफ एक्स नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो विच मीन्स नाउ रूट एक्स कैन नॉट बी जीरो मीन्स एक्स कैन नॉट बी जीरो वन माइनस रूट वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर रूट ऑल्सो कैन नॉट बी जीरो विच मीन्स एक्स कैन नॉट बी वन इफ एक्स कैन नॉट बी जीरो एक्स कैन नॉट बी वन आउट ऑफ ऑल द ऑप्शन ओनली दिस ऑप्शन सेटिस्फाइज दैट तो दिस पोर्शन ऑफ डोमेन इज कॉमन टू ऑल द फाइव फंक्शन विल मार्क दैट विल मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन दिस क्वेश्चन इट इज इक्वेटिंग दिस एक्सप्रेशन टू दिस सीरीज this series starts from 100 ends with 1 which means it has exactly 100 terms now notice we'll try to solve this series this series is a summation in which 100 is in decreasing then again 100 is increasing which means must be a summation of 100 minus r 100 plus r r in the first case is 0 in this case r is 1 in this case in this r is 2 and so on तो विल से समीशन में आर वेरीज फ्रॉम जीरो टू नाइनटी नाइन बिकॉज द लास्ट टर्म शुड करस्पॉन्ड टू दैट विच इज फेयरली स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड विल सिंपली राइट दिस एज हंड्रेड इंटू हंड्रेड विल बी एडेड हाउ मेनी टाइम्स दिस इज टेन टू द पावर फोर माइनस आर स्क्वायर समीशन टेन टू द पावर फोर विल बी एडेड हंड्रेड टाइम्स विच विल बिकम टेन टू द पावर फाइव टेन टू द पावर सिक्स then minus summation of r square so summation of r square will be till 99 will be 99 into 100 into 199 by 6 so this quantity we have to alpha we have to recognize which seems to be 6 beta we have to recognize which is this number 99 into 100 by 6 we can very easily identify both numbers and we have slope of line joining beta and, uh, alpha beta and origin is simply beta upon alpha we have to report beta upon alpha which means 9900 upon the 6 upon 6 we can do that and we'll mark according to the question and then we'll move on to the next question here there can be some uh, error in options Let the straight line. We have straight lines y is equal to x plus one, three x plus y is equal to nine, and we have to find number of integral values of m, the slope here, for which abscissa of point of intersection is an integer. How to find abscissa of point of intersection? We solve these two lines. We put m x plus one here. So it will become three x plus four m x plus one. Is equal to nine. After it will be four m x. This will be four. This will become m x will come out to be x. Will it be abscissa? Will come out to be five upon three plus four m. Now we require this to be an integer. Belongs to integer and m also belongs to integer. So we'll keep on putting values of m. Now notice that this three plus four m cannot be larger than five. So we'll only put a few values and realize that this only happens for m is equal to minus one or m is equal to minus two. We'll mark only we have two values. We'll mark that for two values of m, we have abscissa as integer. And we'll move on to the next question. In the next question. we have to find the differential equation of this curve where a is arbitrary constant the curve will vary when parameter a varies now how will we do that we'll write y square is equal to that equation only 4a x plus a then we'll differentiate that 2y y dash will come out to be 4a x notice that we have found the value of a from these two we will eliminate a after elimination of a whatever comes is the equa is the differential equation corresponding to the curve how to eliminate a a simply is y y dash 
upon 2 x. So, we will put y square is equal to 4 y y dash upon 2 x x plus actually x would not be here. So, x would not be here. So, y y dash by 2 x plus y y dash by 2. Notice we will multiply everything, we will cancel this y and we will mark the option. Here we are getting y dash whole square into y. This option is matching and hence we will move on to the next question. In the next question we have this determinant as 0 that determinant is a function of x and we have to report the values of x which satisfy the determinant with the is equal to 0 and also will belong to 0 to pi. With that determinant first of all we can add these two rows and we can subtract these two rows. This determinant will become after adding these rows this will become what 1 plus sin square x plus this must have been cos square x because otherwise the determinant will not be a simple function of it will not correspond to these values there might be a mistake there. So, this will become 2 this will also become 2 and this will become 1 1 and rest after subtracting this column from this column this will become 0 after subtracting cos square x minus this this will become minus 1 and this will again become 0 and then rest of it will become will remain same 1 plus cos square x cos square x 4 sin 2 x 1 plus 4 sin 2 x this determinant should be equal to 0. Now, we will expand along this column. So, obviously only minus 1 is the non 0 we will delete this row and this column and we will find this determinant. Notice it will lead to sin 2 x is equal to half which means in 0 to 2 pi 2 x must be equal to either pi by 6 or 5 pi by 6 which means x can be pi by 12 or 5 pi by 12. We will mark the option corresponding to that we will move on to the next question. Now, again this must be capital A we are defined we are here we have been given 2 a plus b twice matrix a plus b and a minus 2 b matrices and we have to find the value of this trace of a minus trace of b. How to do that? Now, notice that if I take trace of two sum of two matrices that is equal to sum of trace so, which means I will take trace of both sides here I will take trace of both sides here this will become twice trace a let us say is x and trace b let us say is y. So, this is 2 x plus y will become 1 and from here x minus 2 y is how much 3. So, now, the question becomes fairly straightforward we have 2 x plus y given x minus 2 y given and we have to find x minus y. We can find the values of x and y both from here and move on. So, we will mark option corresponding to that and we will move on to the next question. Now, here we have a line y is equal to the root 3 root x with slope 3 root 2 and we have to find equation of straight line which passes through 1 comma 3 and makes an angle of tan inverse root 2 with given line. Now, given line let us say slope is this is 3 root 2 and required line have slope m. So, tan theta which is theta if theta is the angle between the two lines is equal to m minus m 1 minus m 2 upon 1 plus m 1 m 2 in which one of the slopes is m of the required line other slopes let us say is 3 root 2 upon 1 plus 3 root 2 into m and this quantity is given to be tan inverse root 2. 
tan inverse theta is giving tan of tan inverse root 2 which is simply root 2. We will cross multiply, we will get from here root 2 plus 6 m is equal to m minus 3 root 2. From here m will come out to be minus 4 root 2 upon 5. Now, slope we have and we have that line passes through 1 comma 3. So, we will quickly check which of the four options has in the line in which of the four options has slope equal to this and passes through 1 comma 3. Notice the slope is matching here. We will mark and we will move on to the next question. Since there is a none of these option here, we should be careful. Next, now we have uh, we have to count how many times the digit 3 appears while writing the, the, the all the integers from 1 to 1000. Now, while writing 1 to 1000, we will actually encounter 1 digit numbers, 2 digit numbers, 3 digit numbers. Let us assume all are 3 digit numbers with 1 digit numbers represented as 0, 0, x. 2 digit numbers are 0, x, y and 3 digit numbers are simply x, y, z. No problem. Which means we can actually say that we have 3 digit numbers. This digit can vary 0 to 9. This digit also can vary 0 to 9 and this digit can also vary 0 to 9. Earlier we did not used to take this digit as 0, why? Because it will become 2 digit or 1 digit number, but then we have to count that, so let us not worry about that. The total, if we, we are counting 3's that will appear, so how many times 3 will appear here? Then 10 ways of filling this place, 10 ways of filling this place is actually 100. How many times will 3 occur in this place? Notice that here also we are counting the cases in which 0 occurs. This will make the number 2 digit, which means 10 ways to fill this place, 10 ways to fill this place, again 100 and how many times 3 will occur here? Again 10, 10, so we have again 100 ways. Counting all, we have total 300 ways of counting 3. Now, when 3 will occur in both the places, we have to count twice. That is why those numbers will occur here as well as here. The number 333 will come in all 3, which is good because we have counted it thrice because 3 will come thrice in it. So, all the cases we have counted nicely. No problem. We will write the answer and we will move on to the next question. In next question, we have a plane x minus 2y plus 2z minus 3 is equal to 0 and there is a point on the plane, it lies on the plane and uh, there be an, uh, we are assuming a plane P2 which is parallel to the plane and unit distance at, at a distance 1 from the first plane. Now, let us write, let us try to find the equation of that plane P2. Now, equation of that plane P2 can be assumed as x minus 2y plus 2z plus d is equal to 0. Now, since this point lies on the plane, distance of this point is same as distance between these two planes, which is same as d1 minus d2 upon 1 square plus minus 2 square plus 2 square under root. We all know the formula. So, we will write d minus minus 3 will become d plus 3 upon under root of 1 square plus minus 2 square plus 2 square, which is nothing but 9, a square root of 9 is 3. This magnitude should be equal to 1, which means d plus 3 magnitude should be equal to 3, because this will come out to be 3. Notice that in here d can be 0 or d can be, d can be 0 or d can be minus 6, minus 6 plus 3 will be minus 3, then also. Now, notice here we have two options, we can put d is equal to 0 or d is equal to minus 6, b, notice that in place of b, we will put minus 2, in place of this is minus 2, 1, this is minus 2, c, 
is 2 and d is either 0 or minus 6. We will put these values and we will mark the positive value of this. Apparently, with one of these value only it will come positive. Moving on to the next question. In this we have given, we have been given this uh, uh, relation between f x square and g 4 minus x. g is further simplified with this relation and we have to find the value of this integral. Notice that f x square this and this function is an even function. If this, since this is an even function minus 4 to 4 integral is twice of. So, first of all this we have to find twice of integral 0 to 4 of f x square which is same as notice that 0 to 4 f x square d x is same as 0 to 4 f of 4 minus x whole square d x. I mean replace x by 4 minus x. So, which is since both are same I can write this as 0 to 4 f of x square plus f of 4 minus x plus f of sorry f of 4 minus x whole square dx. And we will get the same result. From here, if we in this relation we put 4 minus x whole square, we will get f of 4 minus x whole square plus g x as 4 4 minus x whole cube. We will add these. Notice f x square plus f of 4 minus x whole square we require g x plus g 4 minus x is 0, it will disappear and it will come out to be 4 x cube plus 4 of 4 minus x whole cube. We will substitute here, which means this integral is simply integration 0 to 4, 4 times x cube plus 4 minus x whole cube dx. We can very easily find that. It is only integration of a polynomial. We will find that. We will mark the answer corresponding to that. Moving on to the next question. Now, we have roots of this equation x square plus a x plus 12. Now, roots of this equation can be real, roots of this equation can be imaginary. So, alpha let us say alpha and beta are the roots and origin. So, we have three points, three points on argon plane or three, take a three numbers, they form an equilateral triangle on complex plane. For origin and these points to make an equilateral triangle, the roots must be imaginary. Everybody understands that because if the root will be real, then origin alpha and beta will be collinear. They will not form an equilateral triangle. So, we have origin alpha and beta forming an equilateral triangle. So, from we already know that when triangle uh, three, three complex numbers z1, z2, z3 form an equilateral triangle, then summation z1 square is same as summation z1, z2 which means alpha square plus beta square plus 0 square will be equal to alpha beta plus beta 0 plus 0 into alpha, which is same as alpha plus square plus beta square should be equal to alpha beta. Now, adding 2 alpha beta on both sides, we will get alpha plus beta whole square is equal to 3 alpha beta. Now, alpha beta will follow this alpha plus beta is minus a minus a whole square is 3 into alpha beta is 12. Now, from here we can know a square is 36, a must be 6 or minus 6. We have to find mod of a which will be 6. We will mark that, we will move on to the next question. Now, this question is on extra syllabus. We have average or mean of 25, any n is equal to 25, 25 data is there and the mean mu is 40. No problem, 
and out of those 25 observations one of the observation is 60 of, of is of 60. Then if we remove that observation and add a new observation of x, so how the sum will change? The sum now is 1000 n into mu summation x sorry summation x i is 25 into 40 is how much 1000. The new summation x i may 60 will be reduced and x will be added. So, this is old new summation x i is sorry this was 1000 1000 minus 60 plus x everybody understands and the new mean let us say mu dash becomes 39 new mean is 39 and now number of observation is still 25 one observation has been added one deleted so this will be should be equal to 25 into new mean into 39 fairly simple we have we will calculate the value of x we will mark it we will move on to the next question. Next question as we can see limits we have limit x tends to 0 sin inverse x minus tan inverse x upon x cube we have to find the limit we have to multiply it by 6 add 1 then report the answer see it is very easy to forget this but okay now how to calculate this limit quickly we will just replace sin inverse and tan inverse with their expansions. So, sin inverse expansion we will just write or we, we can actually put sin inverse x as theta and convert x will be sin theta and we can convert tan inverse x in terms of sin inverse of some quantity and we can do the question. Either way sick, uh, limit this will be x minus x cube by 3 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial and minus tan inverse will be x minus x cube by 3 and this divided by x cube and limit x tends to 0 x will cancel coefficient of x cube will determine the limit which is which will come out to be half the limit l is coming out to be half then 6 l plus 1 is 4 we will mark that we will move on to the next question. Now, we have an equation to solve trigonometric equation these two quantities are same was one is in mod another is not in mod. Now, since if uh, we will make two cases whatever quantity is inside the mod cot x greater than 0 and cot x less than 0 cot x greater than 0 will mean that mod cot x is simply cot x this will mean cot x is equal to cot x plus 1 by sin x which will mean 1 by sin x is equal to 0 which would not lead anywhere. There is no value of x in which 1 by sin x is 0. Next cot x is negative in that case it will be minus cot x is equal to cot x plus 1 by sin x we will quickly find this will be cos upon sin. So, it is minus of cos x by sin x into 2 because of 2 cortex is equal to 1 upon sin x. It will cancel sin x and we will simply write sin x not equal to 0. Any values corresponding to sin x is equal to 0 we have to remove from the solution. Also now here cos x is coming out to be minus half cos x is equal to minus half and cot x is positive in 0 to 2 pi. We know cos x is minus half for 2 pi by 3 and 4 pi by 3, but this here cot x is negative we will take that here cot x is positive we will not take that and hence number of solutions is just 1. We will mark that we will move on to the next question. Next question is an integration we have to integrate this quantity. Now 
as we can see that uh, somehow we have to make this quant this convert this quantity as uh, some f x 1 upon f x or 1 upon f square x either way and we have to find f dash. So, we will uh, switch around we will make multiply by x sufficient numerator and denominator by something we will divide numerator and denominator by something until we will stumble upon that if I divide well, numerator and denominator by a x to the power 14 which will remove this term actually x to the power 7. If I do that it will become this expression will become integration of denominator will be 2 plus 1 upon x power 5 plus 1 upon x power 7 square. Numerator after doing that it will become 5 upon x power 6 plus 7 upon x power 8 7 upon x power 8 dx. Notice both quantities both integrals are same just numerator and denominator are been divided by x power 14. Now, we see if this is f x this quantity is minus f dash x. f x so, uh, when I will substitute that minus f dash x upon f square the integration will be reciprocal of f to which is same as 1 upon f or 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon x power 5 plus 1 upon x power 7. Now, it is a good thing that the question now we it is asking that f of 0 is equal to 0 this function for this function f of 0 is not defined. So, we will write something for which f 0 is defined. So, let us rewrite it as we will multiply x power 7 x power 7 upon 2 x power 7 plus x square plus 1. It looks nice plus c. Now, this function has f 0 as 0. So, we have confirmed this is our f x and f 1 is 1 upon k f 1 comes out to be 1 upon 4 1 upon k which means k is 4 we will mark k as 4 we will move on to the next question. Now, in this question we do not understand maybe uh, some uh, question, some numbers might be missing, but it seems that some number is missing here and we have to infer the number from the other things given there. Now, okay, let us divide this problem that it may be this problem is happening like in 4 quadrants which again is a well, we are assuming maybe the question setter is thinking like that and then we are saying ki, okay, maybe all these numbers are some base to the power some exponent. We can see this 4 is 12 minus 8 this 3 is 7 minus 4, this number we do not know, but it might be 5 minus 3 and this base is 2 minus 1. So, we have ok, so we mean we may we, we, we say that maybe the number which is here is some a to the power some b, if that is the case a we have very good reason to believe that a is equal to 2. Understand that this first uh, second quadrant thing is not supplying us with much information maybe it is not uh, a to the power b maybe it is. Now, if base is 2 what about the exponent? Now, if 12 and 8 give exponent 24, 7 and 4 give exponent 6, 2 and 1 let us say they can give any exponent as 1 to the power anything is 1 only. So, we have to infer only from these two. So, trying many many combinations notice that since only two informations are useful here we can come up with many many functions of 12 and 8 and 7 4 which will give 24 and 6 out of those we have to select the best one the best reasonable. So, it is better that you leave the question in exam if it is not that straightforward 
you try to attempt some other better question which is clear. But still here it seems that number of factors if we consider of 12 and 8, number of factors if we consider of 7 and 4 and similarly number of fact, so we find that we will get 24. In this case also number of factors of 7 is just 2 and number of factors of 4 is 1, 2, 4. So, the, uh, this product of these two factors is 6. Here, product of these two factors. So, here also product of factors, 2 factors of 5, 2 factors of 3, product of factors is 4. So, B should be equal to uh, again 4. So, this number should be A to the power B form, it should be of 2 to the power 4 form, it should be 16 based upon this argument. Be, bear in mind, we can have many other arguments like this. Moving on, now four points lying on this curve. Now what is this curve? This is rectangular hyperbola x y is equal to 1, union of all those points with x y is equal to minus 1. So, it is actually two curves, x y is equal to 1 and x y is equal to minus 1. And there are four points possibly in four different quadrants they form a square and midpoints also lie on this curve. We have to find the area of that square. So, first of all, let us try to draw how this curve will look like. So, possibly there is a rectangular hyperbola here, rectangular hyperbola here, rectangular hyperbola here, rectangular hyperbola there. And quite possibly the square is like this. Notice midpoint also lie on this curve. Again, Next point is here, again and again and midpoints also this midpoint, this midpoint, this midpoint and this midpoint are also lying on the curve. You can see how we can adjust and make this square fit into such curve. Now due to symmetry, we know these two points, the abscissa of this point and the coordinate of this point have the same magnitude. This is negative but same magnitude. Let us take this point as t comma 1 by t as this point lies on x y is equal to 1 and this point similarly we can assume as 1 by t comma minus t. Midpoint will come out to be t plus 1 by t by 2 comma 1 by t minus t by 2 and the midpoint must lie on x y is equal to 1. Bear in mind we can actually take a different case in which this point is here and the midpoint lies on x y is equal to minus 1, but the area will come out to be same, area of the square will come out to be same, square will be different, area will be same. Putting it, that, it in that value, so we have 1 minus t minus t, 1 upon t minus t, 1 upon t plus t product is 4. So, we will get t 1 upon t minus t, 1 upon t plus t product is 4. Calculating, we will get 1 upon t square minus t square is equal to 4. This is a quadratic in t square, t square will come out to be 2 plus root 5 or 2 minus root 5. Let us say 2 plus root 5. Notice now let us concentrate on area. Area will be side square, side is distance of this point from this point. Let us write the distance t minus 1 by t whole square, t plus 1 by t whole square, under root whole square side square. So, area should be t minus 1 by t whole square plus t plus 1 by t whole square, which is nothing but t twice of t square plus 1 by t square, which is twice of t square plus 1 by t square. t square we already know, t square is 2 plus root 5 will substitute there t square plus 1 by t square will come out to be 2 root 5, which means this number is 4 square root of 5. But we have to report the square of the area. 
we shouldn't forget we have to find report the square of the area so we'll report square of this number so this is a square will come out to be 4 root 5 square which is 80 we'll mark that we'll move on to the next question apparently these were the only questions which we were able to uh, uh, which students were able to recollect and this is the end of the paper we hope that the the question you gave the question paper nicely thank you very much